Hi, I'm Erin from Fangirlish. I loved Bumper, like Bumper in Berlin. I was actually watching it with a friend of mine who's from Germany, and she said that it, it reminds her of how popular David Hasselhoff is in Germany. Exactly. I'm very excited she got the, if not reference, like inspiration because it was slightly modeled after him that makes that means so much she's like that better be the first question you ask like I, I will <laughs> also say I uh like when conceiving of this show I wanted it to feel real even though it's obviously very silly and absurd and this basically did just happen to David Hasselhoff he sort of accidentally became famous in Germany and Austria and then he was like I'm going to lean into that and only book concerts in those countries. So it will, it's amazing. It it definitely came across. I actually have family in Germany and I grew up with David Hasselhoff. So I, I thought it too. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious, but I also loved how you got that. And you also got German culture and how like fanatic they are and, and things like that. What do you think being as, you know American culture and the way things are, but you also, what do you think people will be most surprised about when watching Bumper in Berlin? Um, I, so I will say I had never been in Berlin before I made this show, but I now am obsessed with Berlin and I speak a little German, which I love the language. Um, I think that there really are some very specific American things about myself, but it turned into bumper two that I never would have realized were American until I spent time in a different country. Um, at one point in the pilot bumper says, uh, or, or, uh, Flula says, um, Germans speak English way better than Americans do. And bumper says, no, they doesn't. <laughs> that happened to me all the time where a German would correct me on my English grammar. And I was like, mm -hmm. I love this. You guys really crushed a lot of stuff. So it's amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. It's amazing. Um, I you've written for some amazing shows, some that I'm obsessed with. Like we used to have good place parties every single week, The Simpsons, Parks and Recreation. Like once I found out you were involved in this, I knew it was in great hands and being such a pitch perfect fanatic, like that just meant so much. So what jumped out to you about this and what made you want to do it? Yeah, well, I'm so excited to hear you liked those shows. Um, I found it to be a huge privilege to write for those shows. And Pitch Perfect, I have been a fan of. I'm like a huge musical theater, huge acapella fan. And I saw the movies when they came out, big fan. Um, and I, you know, for a few years have talked with Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman, our producers, um, about if there was a way I could fit into the Pitch Perfect universe. And they had the idea to do a television spinoff that maybe was its own weird little world. And it kind of ended up being the perfect thing for me as someone with TV background in these other weird little worlds to um, bring my perspective to Pitch Perfect. My time is up, but I just have to tell you, it's such a great show. I feel like if everyone's going to love it. I loved it. And I watched those, those movies religiously. So thank you so much for doing an amazing job. Thank you. Have a, have a great day. Bye.